Hey everyone, so what is an optician? We're going to keep it light and airy and easy today. We've got a big holiday event coming up here and it's been kind of crazy. So just real quick, fun, simple. What are the guys like me here that make your glasses look this amazing and work this well, right? That's kind of the idea. So you've got, of course, the three parts of it. You've got the ophthalmologist, typically more specialist, more medical related, then you've got the optometrist, which they still do some medical stuff. Some primarily focus on medical, so I guess that's, it gets confusing. I'll try and keep it simple today. So the optometrist is more focused on the eyes specifically, and more importantly, how you see with your eyes, not as much the medical treatment side. Again, there's some that do, we're not going to get into that today. Simple. Medical, eyes, me. So the optometrist is the one that works and refines the prescription. They're kind of the specialist of the prescription, what you need to see out there with. Now here's where it's going to get really interesting. So the optician is the next one you go to from the optometrist, right? They give you your piece of paper, your prescription, maybe they send you to the optician for the prescription. <laughs> but at any rate, uh, that's when you come to somebody like me. And that, you know, depending on where you're at, that's a wide definition of what an optician is. There's some states they're licensed, some states they're not. Some places will send you just to a frame stylist rather than an optician. The good opticians are frame stylists too, by the way. We'll make sure you're looking amazing and hot in your new glasses. Some places you have these, which are... ABO and NCLE. That is actually combined form now, by the way. I just haven't updated mine back here. It's up to date. It's just not the new form. And then, of course, the state license here in Tennessee. So you actually do have an LDA, LDO program in Tennessee that we have to go through certain steps to become a licensed dispensing optician, someone qualified to fit, adjust, and dispense eyewear. It's kind of a short summation, right? Sounds way too simple. And maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. We'll let the state boards fight over that problem. But what it amounts to is the optician is the guy that takes you to find the gorgeous frame that you love, make all of your eyewear dreams come true, or maybe that's just me. I don't know what your optician's like. That's me. <laughs> the beautiful frames, sunglasses, eyewear, all of that stuff all these gorgeous ladies back here. That's what I do. And I take the prescription you've been given, I find something that's gonna work and fit on your face perfectly well, like we've got here, you can see, the widest part of the frames is part as wide as the widest part of my face. The glasses are a nice color for my skin tone, works with a lot of different outfits, like today, of course, my little blue accents. Super common for me. Ooh. Wow. That's my thing. I wear this frame a lot. It's far and above... <laughs> Excuse that. Far and above one of my favorite frames because it does work so well for me with a variety of the outfits I wear. I pretty commonly wear blue so it works well. You know, you can get away with some other colors with a brighter blue. This is gorgeous. And it's nice and pearly too. And speaking of, let's just really quickly appreciate that acetate with the colored flip and the pearl and the nice striations and all the things I love about this frame. But what really, what we focus on the most is the technology behind all of that. So frame fit is important. Don't underestimate that. There is a lot that goes into choosing the right frame. It's not a matter of, oh, hey, this fits. Cool, we're done. No, there's much, much more that goes into it. I'll spare you the details because a good optician can make most frames work at least okay. You know, there's going to be shortcomings, you're going to have trade-offs, you go with a really big frame, you're going to have some distortion that's uncontrollable, but for the most part you can minimize those things depending on the lens technology and what's available. Now the really important key factor is knowing exactly how you're using the lenses, what you're going to be looking for out of them, more importantly what you're looking at with the glasses, because the prescription just makes sure you see good off at a distance. When it comes down to here is what actually determines how you see and experience the things around you. It can be as simple as, oh, it's sharp in the center, it's not really anywhere else. 
or it's really sharp everywhere from edge to edge. Some prescriptions, that's not possible. And again, this is where an optician that knows what they're talking about comes into play. They can let you know what's going to happen with what lens, what prescription, and what frame is going to help minimize those things, or what lens technology is going to minimize those things. Yeah, see, it's a lot more complicated than it sounds on the face. But it's fun. That's what makes it interesting, right? Every single person has a different set of needs and a different prescription to work off of. So there's never the two the same. I think that's why I love it so much. Every person has something new to play with and mess with and find that perfect setting just to make it all work. And sometimes it changes next year. Not just the prescription, the person and what they want. It happens. We evolve as we grow, right? It's more fun to keep changing. I know I have. Right, anyways. So, yeah. The next time you sit down with an optician, think about all that. There is a lot more that goes into this in designing that perfect lens. Because the optician is, in most cases, the professional that understands lens design and frame fit and making these work exactly as was intended. And yeah, we won't get into lens design too much today. Like I said, I was gonna keep it light. It's kind of starting to get noisy around here, so I'll leave you guys with that. Let me know your thoughts. Did you know what being an optician actually encompasses or the difference with an ophthalmologist and an optometrist? What kind of defines that a little bit? If you'd like to know more about that, definitely hit me up. I actually, that's a good idea for a future video. <laughs> I'm going off on another tangent. You guys take care. I will catch you next time. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and follow along if you don't already. If you do, thank you for following along. We actually just hit 50 subscribers. I'm quite proud of that. But I will catch you guys next time.